Because the norm is garbage. When I was fighting, I'll, I'll say this now openly. One of the biggest advantages I had back when I was fighting is I just didn't give a fuck if I lived or died. I was semi-depressed. to do. I just didn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, you want to fight? Cool. I tried to... Badr Hari had a fight. And that's the worst. That's why Andrew Tate won a lot of his fights, bro. Because if you fight somebody who has nothing to lose, that's dangerous, bro. Like, if you fight somebody who's like, fuck it, bro. I can just give it all up today. That's the most dangerous, bro. Andrew Tate was definitely a demon back then. I could imagine. You know what? I find it weird that people like Andrew Tate or or people like Sneeko, because they basically talk about some basic common truth. The West is fucked, to be honest. The West is fucked. And I see a lot of people defend Andrew Tate and Sneeko as if they were some sort of fucking gods or as if they are truly God's favorite or some shit like they truly preach. But I also believe that they talk about basic truths, uh, basic common truths. Uh, for example, be work hard, be consistent, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, even though it's basic, I do think a lot of people need to hear it. And it became a genre on YouTube that I enjoy personally and has sparked a lot of debate. And I'm all for it. So they definitely do be talking about some basic shit, though. I can't disagree with that at all. It was here in Dubai against... Um, he fought. He ended up fighting some guy. Badr Hari had a fight. I think it was here in Dubai against... Um, Who? I tried to... Badr Hari had a fight. I think it was here in Dubai against, um, he fought, he ended up fighting some guy from England. I can't remember his name. Some Russian guy, whatever, whatever. I was trying to take that fight in a day's notice for like 10 Jeez. G's. I was like, for like what, 10 grand. Yeah, Badr Hari's massive. He's much bigger than me. I was like, yeah, give me the fight. Give me the fight. Give me the he said Badr Hari. What, what is the name he's saying? Does anybody know? Badr Hari. Russian guy, whatever, whatever. I was trying to take that fight in a day's notice for like 10 Jeez. G's. I was Bada like, for like 10 grand. Yeah, Badr Hari's massive. He's much bigger than me. I was like, yeah. Give me the fight, give me the fight, give me the... I just didn't give a fuck, right? Now I got things to live for. But um, back then, like, I was, it was kind of get rich or die trying. And fighting yeah. was the only thing I, I knew or I was good at that I could even consider. Because even before the internet, well, now with the internet, you have a whole bunch of kids with money and shit. Before the internet, you didn't have no crypto kids or some podcast kid or whatever. Yeah. Now That's you see 20-year-olds so worth 200 million. Back, like, only 15 years ago, there was none of that. So yeah. when, I was, when I was young, it was just like you had to get a job. And it was just depressing. It just sucked. I didn't want to do it. The fucking YouTube game changed it. Huh? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of kids and shit fucking rocking. Uh, I mean, a lot of kids with money and shit. A lot of uh, young adults getting rich fast. And I'm so glad that I never got rich super fast because then I wouldn't have would not have been able to curate my, my talent for even longer and become better. So I do think a lot of the kids that have blown up will meet a fast doom, uh, fast fall if they if they and a lot of them don't really think about the longevity aspects of what they're doing for the most part and that's why they end up failing because no one has a business plan but everybody wants the money no one has a business plan but everybody wants the fame nobody has a business plan but everybody wants to enter the game and nobody wants to fucking have a business plan but everybody wants to fucking tell other people who's lame for starting to be in the lane and fucking adjusting the main to try to develop a name you understand what a shame.